Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Nevada. This is Girdle RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in Vault 8 in uh, about 70 years after the war. Not quite 70 years after the war. It is Vault... Vault... Vault City? It is Vault City, yes. Uh, and we can't go back because it takes the lower levels... Oh, this elevator takes it to the lower levels, but I don't have the code! I need an activation code! Yes! So, last episode we got sort of a preamble to the storyline, and we're playing as Vinny over here. Can I actually see what what's going on? You see nothing out of the ordinary. Vinny is nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm, game is insulting me already. Hey, Dr. Wilmoth! I don't quite know how to connect what happened uh, last episode with... Um, with uh, what is happening right now. I could load, and I will, uh, this. Is that Vinny? It is. Hmm. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay, let's have a chat with doc uh, Dr. Plymouth over here, or whatever his name is. I'm glad to see you're awake, Vinny, but you're probably confused, aren't you? Yeah, I understand. Oh, I see where this is going. Yes, I understand you have a lot of questions, especially regarding your amnesia. I would have preferred the overseer wait longer before sending you outside, but no nonetheless, I'm glad to see your brain is recuperating. Oh, and uh, if you don't remember, my name is Dr. Wilmoth. Yeah, I kind of forgot. Can't remember anything, Doc. What happened to me? Uh, that's to be expected. Your brain has been exposed to destructive inf to the destructive in influence of the outside world. I won't get into details, but the important thing is that we managed to restore it. Unfortunately, part of your memory was lost forever. Well, I'm glad that I still know how to speak and walk and all that sort of stuff. How did this happen? You were brought to us by a stranger calling himself a biker. You can ask Sergeant Graves about him. When you were rushed to me, you had limited mobility and were not aware of your surroundings. I diagnosed, I diagnosed brain damage and memory loss. Oh, that's kind of bad. I'll, uh, I'll talk to him, yes, but Sergeant Graves at least, and then find this biker and see what is exactly is going on. Uh, can you, well, uh, yes, let's... Can, uh, can I count on your medical help in the future? Of course. If you need medical attention, I will do everything I can to help. The overseer ordered it himself. Okay, can you give me any advice before I leave the city? Because I'm definitely leaving it, apparently. Now watch out for radiation and avoid physical contact with dead or living organisms. As in plants and stuff? Because of radiation? Can, sure. Can you tell me more about radiation? Sure. What do you want to know? Okay, are there any specific areas I should avoid? Obviously, don't spend too long in areas with high levels of background radiation, but sometimes individual objects emit radiation too. Large metal objects, such as old cars, are especially likely to be radioactive. Uh, okay, how can I treat my radiation poisoning? Red X pills will boost your body's initial defenses against radiation. You should take some, uh, them before entering contaminated areas. If you're already radiated, right away we'll flush it out of your system. There will be other chems that will help with radiation, but I'm not aware of any. Okay, are there any chems to prevent radiation poisoning? He said it already. That is... Oh, wait, what, what, what? How? He said it already, but... Are there any chems I can use to prevent radiation poisoning? And he says the specific thing. Keep your radiation levels below 100 rotgen or roentgen. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that is the correct measurement of radiation. That's right. That's right. This just... It's awesome that it, it is, because it is. It's not rads. Rads is not a thing. Uh, and, well... It might be for radial things, but that's just a measurement of distance or something. Anything exceeding that is very dangerous. 100 Roentgen? Well, it's not... F well, yeah. I think we could take... Like, a, a 1 Roentgen, I believe, is like a thousandth of 1 kilo Roentgen? Or is that... How does that go? There's like... We can take two. Two something units, and I believe it's like 2,000 of these. Uh, and not die. That's... <laughs> That's basically what it is. We can take two of them and not die, and then we need to flush them. Uh, but I've seen videos about it a long time ago. I'm not uh, aware of any measurements. Uh, so, what effects does the prolonged, uh, prolonged exposure to radiation have on the body? Long-term radiation exposure will have negative effects on your body, such as weakness, clumsiness, clumsiness, and loss of stamina. You will recover with treatment, but that will take time. Okay, well, thanks. See you later, I guess. Uh, take care, Citizen Vinny, Vinny, and long live Vault City. Uh, long live Vault City. Let's do this. Let's do be. Let's be all Vault City like. Apparently, we are a citizen, and that's good. Not. Uh, it, it, it still can't really 
understand what was going on in the beginning of the game. Maybe we will later. Science skill is needed in order to use this computer. Uh, probably not going to be able to do it. I pressed 7, which is the... Oh. Ooh, you see the clinic computer, it contains medical information about all citizens, reproduction plans, scheduled reports, and more. Long-term story, or long story short, sorry, why, why did I say that? Uh, it's none of your business. No, it is. Let's, I'll look through my medical history. You can't make heads or tails of this medical mumbo-jumbo. Medical, apparently. Okay, that's great. Uh, well, we don't, we're not really good at it. Let's look. Doctor, 13, yes. Yes, um, I will come back and we'll see what my medical history has to say. That computer doesn't do anything. Uh, I guess it's because it's shut down. The, in the original, not so much in the original game, but in the second game at least, uh, it is really hard to know what computers can actually do anything. Uh, and I don't know if they did it on purpose, but back in the 2000s, actually 1999, which is when the second game was released, or was it 98? No, it was 98. Um, it was common to have just sort of hidden stuff. I wonder what they did with this mod. Oh no! I pressed. Oh, that's right. I pressed the wrong key for um, for quick load. Well, actually, I pressed the the quick load key, um, and um, and I shouldn't. So I'll just go with all through all of these. Uh, long live old city. I don't think any of those matter. So basically, F7. That's what I clicked. Hmm. Interesting. I clicked F7. It's F6. Uh, for the quick save, and I just screw that up. It's 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 fine. There we go. Now, let's have a chat with Jessie over here. Hey, Jessie, you see a cute, quiet girl. Oh, it's you. She says it's so nice to see you. So many people are afraid to go outside, but not you. You're so. I am. I. What? Well, I no, I wasn't. I'm not. Well, I was. What? What are you doing here? Me? Oh, don't mind me. I just keep the place clean. Dr. Wilmoth asked me himself. Uh, I'm sorry, do I know you? Oh, yeah, you don't remember anything, do you? I remember how you were dragged here to Dr. Wilmoth. Uh, he told me you forgot almost everything. I'm sorry. Um, aren't you sick of this tiny vault already? Oh, no, everything is so familiar in here. I have, I have thick walls and familiar people. Outside, I, I'm afraid to even think about it. Uh, well... I'll not tell her to uh, to go outside. I'll leave you to your work. Yeah, good luck to you. Thank you for not being a stranger. I suppose. Bye. Have fun doing the work and all that. I mean, not really sure how much work she's going to have because they don't move around too much, but whatever. So here we are in Vault City. This is Vault City. This is just Vault City. Can I look at the map? I can look at the map. This is indeed Vault City. I can toggle the high detail or low detail, which is amazing. Are they issuing black jumpsuits now? Oh, that's a good call, actually. Hey, man, can I talk to you? I I got nothing to report. Not to you, anyway. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, that is very true, that uh, that uh, I have a black jumpsuit. And it has a thing at the back. I don't know what it means. And also, I have a Pip-Boy. Look at it. It's all different. And it's got... It's, it's, it's cool. It's really cool. I really like it. Total Recall. And it's re weirdly written. I believe that is just our main mission of... of uh, Recovering our memory. Get up on feet. Talk to Graves. Wilmoth. Take your gear from the warehouse. Okay. Sounds good. Um, we got all the maps for Vault City. It's not. Oh, wait a minute. Year 2091. That's where we were. Yeah, indeed. It's 14 years after the war. And that's the vault. In vault level. So these are... Yeah, pretty cool. It's the same area, but it's just... <laughs> just different names. Um, so it's the same Pip Boy, and I have video archives. Yep. And of course, these are just introductions. First time on the surface. Yeah, that's when that opens. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's go over here. And, uh, this is, uh, the detainment center, if I, if I remember correctly. That's Harold over there, of course. Of I, Why am I not even surprised? I see you're feeling better. Dr. Wilmoth should be rec uh, should be commended for getting you back on your feet. He, recommend he recommended not giving you any assignments, but we have no choice. Something terrible has happened. Something we should have expected from an outsider. What are you talking about? 
Uh, it seems the outsider that brought you back to Vault City only did so in order to infiltrate the vault. He stole the device we need to survive, and we can catch up to his vehicle on foot. As the only citizen to have traveled far outside the city, you're the only one we can entrust with this task. Uh, well, I understand what you're saying, but I can't remember anything. I, I need to know more about what happened. Of course, Dr. Wilmoth warned us of your amnesia. I'll let you... I'll tell you everything. Okay. So, some biker calling himself Jay Cookish... That's... I don't even... Uh, brought your... Because... <laughs> what does that mean? That I, he might mean something in Russian, though. I don't know. Uh, brought your body to the city. He demanded to speak uh, with the overseer, who spoke with him while Dr. Wilmoth tended to you. And after a long conversation, the biker used some sort of neutralization weapon to knock the guards and the overseer unconscious. Then he stole the device and fought his way out of the city. Are there any other questions? Uh, yes. Uh, tell me what you know about uh, Jay Kukish. He wears dirty leather with a symbol of a flaming skull on uh, its back. Oh, maybe that's what we have on our back. He may have changed his clothes, but he smells like he doesn't do that often. He's rude and aggressive and apparently only cared about our technology and came and left on a motorcycle. That's all I can tell you about him. Okay, uh, so what about the stolen device? I don't know what the device is called, nor its exact function, but from the reports you can tell that it's required for uh, an automatic defense, uh, automatic defense system. Without it, uh, we are vulnerable to, the out to outside attacks. Okay, so how can I find him? I recommend following his tire tracks. Our patrols report that they lead to Black Rock, located southeast from here. The local population will know more. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, will I get my gear, or any gear for my travels? The Overseer did not assign you any gear, but the warehouse has everything we found on you. Perhaps another citizen can lend you some... Uh, something. Okay, that's nice of them. Uh, what is to, uh, to be expected on the outside, uh, in the outside world? I have little information to give you. Our scouts have reported outsider towns in the local region, if you can call them towns. Sometimes we make... Uh, m make... We must make contact with travelers in the wastes, but we usually try to scare them off. They do not belong here. Yeah. Um, what if I refuse to help? No, I don't. I'm going to be a sort of a brave and just, ah, vault city for the win. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's all that I wanted to know. Uh, well, good luck to you. Stop by the warehouse to pick up your belongings. And remember, be wary of people in the wastes. Do not mention the existence of this city to anyone. That is all. Just like that, huh? Just don't mention this existence of... The okay, consider it done, sir. Also, we're in the desert. Aren't we? Yeah, we should be. Uh, and uh, wouldn't they be able to see the city easily from afar? Hey! Hi! Long live old city, citizen, she says. Oh, it's a fine day, isn't it, citizen? Right, citizen? 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 Yes, can I ask some questions? Um, where can I get some gear? Uh, talk to Sam in the warehouse. You'll have to make a request and wait until it's uh, processed, which usually doesn't happen until uh, it's not needed anymore. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds like Vault City as well. Um, do you know anything about the outside world? Me? No, nothing. Common citizens like me aren't allowed outside. Okay. She says it as, she, as if she wants to go outside. Um, Want to go uh, for a walk in the wilderness? Now we're not allowed outside the city. It's dangerous. Okay, thanks. Take care. How about you, sir? Did you say anything? Do you know... Do you know uh, fine day citizen? Right citizen. Oh, it's maybe the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take care. Bye. Okay, good. We can talk to citizens. It's nice. Let's have a chat with Harold over here. I bet he's gonna have this head, but he's not gonna say anything. Aw, he has a different background and stuff. Amazing. Hey, smooth skin! You ever seen The Walking Dead before? Boo! <coughs> ah, scary, huh? How about a couple of bucks for the show? Uh, is that what passes for a show out in the wastes? No, he doesn't like it. Yes, tough crowd. Uh, yeah, well, what are you doing here? You tell me! Your people stopped my caravan and captured me for study! Or maybe just to poke me with your damn needles! Uh, Dr. Wilmoth must be looking for subjects for his studies. What's a caravan, anyway? Uh, it means I travel around looking for junk to buy and sell, kiddo. And maybe make enough profit to eat once in a while. You don't even know that. Ah, uh, you're a funny bunch. I'll, I've never met anyone like you in the wastes, and I've been working a long time. And he doesn't have Bob yet. Huh, he does have a weird, weird thing in his head that he didn't have in the first game. Um, yeah, good, because I wanted to know everything about the outside world. What? I don't take this the wrong way, friend, but you people don't belong out there. The outside world is cruel, 
a the hub or necropolis would eat you alive. You're lucky living in a place like this with all this technology. Most fellows can't even dream of a life like this. Huh, really? That sounds interesting of Harold to say something like that. No, doesn't really feel like I'm talking to Harold, to be honest. It's uglier out there than I am. Ugh, the closest city, New Reno, is in the middle of a civil war. Oh, that sounds amazing. Any New Vegas? And in Vegas, not New Vegas, the local royalties at each other's throats with, while everyone else is begging for their crumbs. So out of that, it's just black, burned with nuclear fire. Cities in ashes, radioactive, twisted forms of life. Uh, it's, it must be horrible. Nevada and California, just uh, to the west, might be all that's left. At least those cities are just old, not destroyed. Have you been to LA? Because it is sort of, it's completely, it's destroyed. It, it is destroyed. You should appreciate it, friend. Okay, well, I have to go. Yes, LA is completely destroyed. We go there in the first game, and it's all gone. And in the second game, do we actually go to a big city? In second, Well, we go to Bakersfield uh, in the first game, actually. That's Necropolis. Uh, in in the second game, isn't Shady Sands meant to be some place? But then again, that's NCR, that's first game as well. And I can't remember of any particular city city in the second game, which makes total sense, because it's 200 years after the war, and that's a good thing that there's no city cities in the second game. Now that I think about it, actually. Hey, it's Smoothskins, join any in any time, he says, and as he coughs. Man, it must be really hard for the voice actor in Fallout 2 in particular t to uh, voice act him. Because he coughs so much, it's crazy. But it actually doesn't get too annoying, which is awesome. Uh, yes, citizen, do you need something? Why are you looking around like that? I'm watching the streets for signs of trouble. Uh, why? Something happened? No, not yet, citizen, don't worry. Okay, must be a tough job. Ah, yeah, as you can see. Uh, do you see a lot of crime around here? Excluding some past events, the city is completely crime-free. Don't worry, citizen. Uh, why? What happened? No, he doesn't say that. Um, it seems like is something going on. Is something going on? I can't share the information with common citizens. Crimes and accidents are handled by a special commission. Oh, can I buy peep? Can I be part of that commission? Uh, no, they they wouldn't take you. But you could help with an ongoing investigation. Great. Uh, yeah. I. What's the? <laughs> what's with all the rules? Uh, look. Hmm, let's not go with that. Yeah, let's go with this one. I'll help with the investigation. Who knows, it may be my last chance to help the city before I leave. Ah, okay. So, a couple of citizens are acting suspicious. Their jobs require them to leave the city perimeter. When they return, they act strangely, suspiciously strangely. If you really want to help, follow them and tell me what they're doing. Oh, that sounds exciting. What? what who are they? They are citizen Jacob and citizen Emily. They work at the uh, technical service department. Okay, how often do they go outside of the perimeter? They are tasked with checking the security systems around the perimeter twice a day. Oh, really? Okay, well, that sounds... I don't even... What? Why would they... Sure. Uh, how much time do they spend outside the city? They used to spend around two hours, but recently they've been taking much longer. They go twice a day much longer than two hours? Sounds like they spend barely any time here in, t in, in, in town, then. Um... If it's much longer, like if it's six hours, it's like half the time they spend outside. Um, so, what do they do outside? No, oh, I asked that already. Okay, sounds good. I'll come back when I learn something. Good, we're getting missions. Do I actually, do I actually get the status? Yes, I do. Spy on a suspicious citizens couple. <laughs> uh, retrieve the device that have been the that have been stolen by the biker. And do we know already that they are about uh, that they're a couple? Because that is probably telling. Oh, dang it. Oh no, I'm pressing the wrong keys. I apologize for that. I'll just, I'll fix this. Fixed. I did find something interesting though. I'll have a chat with the citizen here. Did you see that freak in the cell? <laughs> Apparently. It's just like that. Just like that. Because she goes in, into the prison to see. I can't wait until he's gone, she says. I hope he doesn't contaminate us. I hope the guard took all the necessary precautions. Yes, thanks. Take care. Yeah, his, uh... He's a ghoul, although, of course, these people might not know he's a ghoul, because they have barely any... Oh, unless the ghouls tell him, unless he tells them, hey, I'm a ghoul, I'm just... It's what it is. We couldn't ask you that, uh, ask him that, though. Of course, again, that's she's talking about Harold. So this is the amenities office, I believe? Is it the same person? It's Sam. I don't remember if it is the same person. Give me this, give me that, I'm sick of it. Is there anybody else around here? Can I go in? 
I can. Do I want to go in? Not really. Oh, maybe. What is that? Ammunition remains? Components of old ammunition cartridge... Uh, cartridges. That's the... Why can't I say that? Bullets and gunpowder carefully assembled piece by piece. Some of this can still be used in the production of new ammunition. And I'll take that. Thank you very much. Even though I'm not really sure... Um how that is going to work, but apparently we have crafting in this game. Good. Uh, again, let's not quick load. Uh, hi, citizen Vinny. How can I help you? Uh, my stuff. Give me my stuff. I was told to assemble everything you had on you when you came in. They're in the locker on the left. They include um, one pistol, one flick knife, one water flask, one paper note, uh, $128. You have dollars already? That's NCR currency. Huh. Please check if everything is in order and sign here. Uh, I don't recognize any of this stuff. Yeah, that's none of my business, though. I just take it in inventory. I heard you lost your memory, so I'm not surprised you don't remember any of it. Maybe those things... Yeah, tell... Thank you for explaining to me how my memory loss works. Maybe those things belong to the outsider that brought you here. They're definitely not from the Vault City. Okay, uh, what if I need anything else? I wasn't told to supply you with anything else. You mean... I can't request anything from the warehouse? I can't do anything for you unless I receive an order from my superiors, he says. Or if you complete an assignment for the warehouse. Oh, that sounds good. How can I... How, what, what do you mean? Uh, we got some requests for equipment we don't have in stock. There are special procedures in place for trading items with outsiders. If they can give us something valuable... Uh... So what will I get if I bring you those items? Well, you'll be able to request the high-value items from the warehouse, like sniper rifles and armor, but it's a long list, and you'll need to get everything on it. Oh, I thought he was going to say, like, you know, like, a fancy co sofa or a new desk, but he just goes for sniper rifles and armor. <laughs> this is not a very militarized society here in Vault City, I'm just saying that. I mean, if it's not, if it wasn't in 20, in 40 years, actually, which is when Fallout 2 takes place, I believe, uh, unless I'm really, no... Fallout 2 is 22... Oh, yeah. This is before Fallout 1. That's Fallout 1 is 80 years after the war. This is 2140, so this is... Yeah, this is like 60... Yeah, yeah, that, so, yeah. So if in 100 years this society is not very militarized, I don't think it would be very militarized at this point. Especially because, you know, citizens aren't allowed outside. Uh, so he would go immediately for... Of course, it's a video game, and I'm gonna be shooting and uh, taking shots, so, yeah. Um, can I have the list? Sure, I'll enter it into your Pip-Boy. Thank you. Done. All those items are vault tech, so you you should know where to look. Sniper rifles are vault tech? No, they're not. No, they're really not. I'm pretty sure they're not. Are they? Because if they are, that's amazing. We have a Mauser over there. Actually, that's not called Ma Mauser. They changed the name, did they? Yeah, the, so I I can talk about that. These are nine. Yeah, they they changed the name. Awesome. They know there's no real weapons in in Fallout 2. Actually, the Mauser isn't a problem because it's a pre World War II weapon, which may, would make sense. And these are actual dollars, legal tender for the world of the wastes. Really? Are we gonna have bottle cap steel? Because that would make sense. And we have uh drinking water over here. Just drinking water. Okay. What is this note? Uh, there are some complex alpha alphanumeric codes written on this piece of paper. You can't imagine what could those uh, what those could mean. Ah, it's probably a Steam code or so. I love I love these new screens. They look awesome. Uh, let's see. Can I actually use it? That does nothing. Okay. So I have a gun, a nine millimeter caliber ammo pistol, still in working condition, but it could use some minor repairs and cleaning on the mechani of the mechanisms. So it has. Does is that how it works? Is that, can I, is that how that works? Okay, it's all, it was already loaded. That I, you know, the, um, need to clear the weapons. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Okay, that doesn't have anything. Uh, is there anything else around here that I can steal and take forever? Apparently not. That's good with me. Bye. See you later. Um, these guys have leather armor? I suppose Vault Tech. Anyway, what I was going to say is... Um, fall, the world of Fallout diverges from the real world in the 50s, after the World War, uh, Second World War. Uh, and uh, the, the actual lore of the game uh, splits. 
So new weapons were developed and all that sort of stuff, new technology, and basically some stuff, a lot of stuff, was stuck in the 50s because the aesthetic of the game was always supposed to be uh, the same aesthetic that you see in science fiction comic books, for example, of the 50s. Uh, and that's why you see a lot of these round uh, round corners of buildings and all that very googie goo art style, or not art style in particular, but the architectural style and all that sort of stuff, because that's how the game was envisioned from the beginning. Uh, there's a l oh. <laughs> I have my things already. There's a little bit, um, there's a little bit uh, of other influences every once in a while, but um, but for the most part, it is that. And that's why post World War II weapons don't make sense because they should never exist. They are they were not in uh, 50s science fiction comic books, so they cannot, or they can, but it's just it doesn't make much sense to be in Fallout 2. Um, Halo Citizen Vinny, what do you want? Uh, what's this place? This is a technical off service office. We maintain electronic equipment. Okay, what are you doing right now? I'm monitoring the scouting robots. Oh, really? What kind of why do you have people that go? Outside? What kind of robots do you use? Self-guiding multifunctional systems, from flying scouts to heavy-duty mining ones. Everyone is irreplaceable, and we never have enough for everyone. So they're in, in constant use. Oh, that sounds interesting. What are so? What are they used for? Ah, mostly the scouting robots are used to study the ty the topography, seismography. That's the earthquakes and radio radioactivity of the uh, surrounding areas. Uh, okay, they won't work without you. Oh yeah, and no, they have complex AI systems, but they need a human controller in case of unexpected situations. Is it difficult? Well, it depends on the task. Sometimes it can be very difficult, but I wouldn't rely just on robots. They need a human telling them what to do. Without that, they're just useless machines. Uh, so they won't work without you, yeah. So can I see the scouting reports? My supervisor won't allow it. Anyway, to do that, I'd have to pull a huge amount of data off the server. None of us can spare that kind of time. Okay, uh, is everything running smoothly then? Hmm, any glances at a monitor with one red flashing light? Do we manage? Really? Because that indicator says, robot not responding? Whoa, 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 just, just keep it down, okay? Oh, bring him back, okay? I can't fix this, just... Don't tell my supervisor, alright? Uh... What are you talking about? Okay, so, I lost track of one of the robots doing research in the, ru in the ruins. No, it's not responding. If my supervisor finds out, he's going to nail me on the wall, to the wall. If I just knew what went wrong or could get that information back, then maybe I can, I'm, I can dodge the worst of it. You know, that's just the sort of problem I'm here to solve, I guess. Just ask and I can make your problem go away. Oh, please, thank you. I just, I, 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 it, lost, it got lost somewhere around the West Ruins. I'd have snuck out, but oh, it's dangerous there. Okay, don't worry, I'll handle it. Oh, thank you, Vinny. You're really helping me out here. Just don't say anything to my supervisors, or I'm toast. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that. Don't worry. No one will ever find out. And I suppose that's the supervisor over there. Let's see what we can tell the supervisor next episode, because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout Nevada. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.